Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Love, Truth and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. My name is Sharnetta. So today we are doing another collective reading and today we are doing a Twin Flame energy check-in. So we are going to check in to the energy of your um, Twin Flame connection or your divine counterpart, a high level soulmate, whatever label you may use. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well. So I'm just like shuffling. I want to start off by getting an angel number. So just to set the tone, I guess, of the reading. Um, okay. So let's see here. Let's jump right into it. Twenty nine. I am insightful. Okay. And at the bottom we have 55. I am evolving. So 29 says, you are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. Okay, as soon as I got this, because 29 adds up to 11, you guys are on the same page right now. You both are using your intuition to truly connect to this connection. I definitely feel um, like a lot of creativity going on. So you both may be working on creative projects and really just focused on your career or just something. It's something that you both are like intuitively know is like going to help bring you both together. You know what I mean? Even when you both are, even since you both are apart it's like something you're doing separately is bringing you both together um i do feel like you both have been thinking about each other a lot and like very vivid images of each other very vivid dreams or just very intense dreams you're having about one another about meeting one another coming together um and there's been a lot of information in those dreams as well and i feel like both of you are getting ideas maybe on how to move forward in this connection especially your person i feel like your person's been dreaming about you a lot um and in those dreams there it's like this person your person is trying to figure out how to come towards you again how to contact you again how to reach out to you and i do feel like this person's getting a lot of ideas but there's i feel like there's a lack of action like they're not moving um okay so let's see what else comes through here we're just gonna get like an overall energy of your connection right now what is the overall energy right now let's just pull one of these and then like a major arcana um, okay, so we have Call Me, Meet Me. So this deck is um, the lover, the Love Story Oracle card deck. I forget who it's by, but I'll link it down below. It's actually a really beautiful deck. But it came with like six um, clear, like, you know, what is this? What can I say? It came with like six, like, blank cards. Um, so I wrote like six things that I wanted to add to the deck. So this is one of them, as you can tell. Um, okay, so we have Call Me, Meet Me. So yeah, again, I told you your person, I don't feel like your person is waiting for you to call them or meet or um, to call for you to call them, but I do feel like they want to meet you. So this could be them trying to figure out how to call you, how to contact you, like I was speaking about earlier, and how to meet up with you or how to just see you. Let's get a major icon and see what's going on. From my Lisa Frank tarot deck here okay this one called to me okay hair font beautiful perfect so cute look at the little polar bear okay so this person we have death at the bottom okay so your yeah your connection right now is really going through this like it has gone i feel like it's already gone through a really deep transformation a really deep change you both have really transformed yourselves you both are very are much more insightful you both are have evolved to a new level in your spiritual journey and your ascension process and i do feel like you both are ready to contact each other to see each other to meet each other i do feel like your person is ready i don't know we're gonna look into tarot be like and figure out why they may be holding back because i do feel like your person's holding back a little bit but um you both are ready to meet each other you both are ready to talk about this you both are ready to like fully commit to each other in a new way in a more 
authentic way in a more honest way because you both have really like ascended in your like i said in your spiritual work so let's get some tarot let's see what else okay that came out so we have the well which is like an extra major arcana in the sec um let's see we have the seven of cups reverse the six of cups upright and the devil okay um let's see what i'm picking up here intuitively i you're there's a fear here and i'm i'm honestly mostly getting it from the seven of cups reverse even though it's reversed there's like this fear of reaching out and things going wrong things going left um your person's definitely scared to reach out. I feel like you, ugh. Your person has made the decision to reach out to you, to like make amends with you, to reconcile with you, but there's this fear. I wanna pull some more just to see what else is going on in this connection. But this connection has shifted and has changed. I feel like the universe and your spirit guides are telling you both that it's okay to come together again. It's okay to meet each other again. It's okay to work together and figure this out we have temperance we have the seven of pentacles okay so we already have two sevens and anytime i see two sevens that represents true love to me so i mean obviously this is your twin flame so this is gonna be your true love as well but true love also speaks about um cherishing yourself loving yourself you know in order to really appreciate and embrace the true love aspect of your romantic connection okay Oh, and at the bottom we have the world. Okay, good. So there's this cycle that's completing. And I think I'm really picking up that there's this fear coming in with your person because they feel like they're not financially where they need to be. They don't feel stable. They don't feel grounded. I feel like this person has lost some type of stability in their life or maybe even lost some, had is suffering through some type of financial loss. Not a lot to even... Honestly, I'm not picking up a lot of financial loss, but something important to them that they feel like they need in order to contact you, to talk to you, to be with you, to see with to to see you. Um, I'm also picking up that this could be you as well. Like you are not feeling so stable in your finances or in your home, or um, I'm getting like maybe you're late on bills and you're just running behind on things, and you're just feeling like you don't have enough financial stability to kind of get you through so you're kind of really focused on like 3d stuff like work bills home all that stuff and this could be something that you're sharing with i do feel like a big like you both are sharing in this energy obviously this is like a collect in, in terms of like looking into your twin flame energy but there's so much potential here for you both to help each other out there's so much potential here for you both to start working together and collaborating together on things emotionally financially um spiritually because we do have temperance here right under the well so this is like you both are ready you both are in this balanced place um emotionally you both are ready to come together to work together you both have imagined this you both are have seen the signs to come together you both are just you know in this place where you're you're, you're ready and then we have the seven of cups reverse with the seven of pentacles upright so but there's this waiting like and i feel like this is you i feel like both of you are waiting but for different things you're waiting for this person obviously to contact you and to reach out to you and your person's waiting for their finances to change or for them to become more stable in themselves in some way and it doesn't have to be financially i feel like it could be this person is um in the midst of a move or something or is it's just trying to it's something practical that your person is waiting on like maybe they're waiting to hear from a job offer or a promotion of some kind like there's something that your person is just waiting on that is making them feel a little bit insecure um i'm also hearing that your person feels like because of this they feel like they won't be able to take care of you they won't be able to provide for you and I feel like you're, like I said, you're waiting for this person to reach out. But because this person hasn't yet, you're feeling like 
you're feeling insecure. You're feeling like, what's going on? What's the delay? What's the problem? I'm seeing all the signs. I'm listening to the information in my dreams or I'm seeing all the information in my dreams. I'm, you know, seeing all the synchronicities telling me that it's time to move on. It's time to move or time to move on with this person. It's time to move forward. It's time to, you know, continue on this path, but I'm not seeing what I need to see. I'm not seeing the 3D you know, I'm not seeing my person, like, come up on my phone or, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're just not seeing it. So, um, okay, we're going to clarify some things here. Um, so let's do the well here and see what's going on. So the well, we have the queen of swords. There's clarity here. There's, there's, um... There's clarity here, there's determination, there's a plan. You both have a plan. You both have a plan on how you want this to come together, how you want this to to really um, show up in your life, which it's it's not like a fantasy and an illusion because the Seven of Cups is in reverse. It's a very like logical, um, I was gonna say strategic, but that's not the word I wanted to use. It's a very um, well thought out plan on how to move forward. And the well represents like ideas and inspiration and transformation as well. It's a very nurturing and opportunity type of card. So there's an opportunity here to communicate. I think you're very much ready to communicate with this person. Um, let's do the seven of cups reverse and see what that's about. You're telling me to get three on that. So let's do that. So we have the King of Coins, the Fountain card, which is an extra Oracle card in the Fountain Tarot, and the King of Wands. Okay, yeah. See, this is, your person is ready. Your person, the King of Pentacles, the King, the King of Wands and the Fountain, and the Fountain represents like infinity. Like you have all the power. It's almost like all the Oracle cards, all the major Arcana cards put together. It's how I read the fountain card. Um, but it's about a lot of possibilities to start over. Your person has been inspired to contact you, obviously. To been inspired to move forward with this, to commit to you. To they have this, they have this new idea that they want to embrace commitment with you. They wanna they want a committed relationship. Two kings, and especially these two kings to me represent like commitment, like the king of pentacles wanting, and we have the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles in reverse. So um it could be that this person's just picking up on your fear, like, of them, of you feeling like they're never going to reach out is what I'm picking up. And that's only going to resonate with some. So if that's the case, that's something that needs to shift. Um, but let me get more before we get into all of that. But I do feel like your person is ready. I do feel like they've already made up their mind that they want to contact you. Okay, let's do the Six of Cups. The nine of coins nine of pentacles so yeah independence it's like and then look at the bottom ten of pentacles okay so you both have this like newfound independence about yourselves you both are like emotionally independent since on the six of cups you both know how you feel you both know what you want you both are ready to collaborate emotionally i'm getting that really strongly you both are ready to let go of the past i'm hearing let go of the drama of the past and to make amends with one another you both are yeah just independent it, it's it's like a no more codependency type of thing i'm picking up even though we have the devil here but i feel like this devil is something else it's like it's it's yeah it's definitely something else let me see um okay you have the ace of swords so yeah your person's afraid to speak their truth we have the seven of cups again they're letting their imagination get the best of them. Um, and then we have the Three of Cups. So honestly, it could be that your person is a little bit distracted right now. Um, I feel like this is more mental. Gotta be honest. I feel like your person's distracted with a lot of different ideas on how to communicate with you, how to come forward to you, because they really want to. But it's like they don't know where you're at, perhaps. They don't know how busy you are. They don't know what you have going on. They don't want to interrupt your life is what I'm really picking up on. They don't want to, um, they don't want to be a distraction to you because this person means business. This person is really, wants to be serious with you. They don't want to like 
yeah they just i feel like this person doesn't want to be a bother to you they feel like they're they feel like they're gonna throw you off course or something because i feel like your person is still maybe in this like type of codependent type of nature just a little bit honestly and just codependent on they think that when they come into your life again it's gonna throw you off course and it's just like why like that doesn't make any sense you're not that like you know what I mean like you're strong in yourself you're independent enough in yourself you've worked on yourself you understand what you need who you are to be happy to be in balance like you have control over yourself it's like it's like this person still thinks they have control over you a little bit in that way you know in a way where they feel like once they come in there and it's it's not a malicious way I'm not getting a malicious energy I'm getting it's it's very like humbling and it's very like it's a very soft energy I'm picking up from this devil in these cards but it's also very like controlling in nature it's a fear if that makes sense I hope I explained that right but it's a fear that when they come in you know they feel like they're gonna mess things up more with you or something like that it's it's just like they're they're not using their imagination in the best way and it's like I don't know if they saw something in you or they saw something that you're doing that triggered them to to do this because we have the seven of cups reversed here and then we have it up right here so i feel like they saw something they saw you doing something maybe on social media or i don't know and it kind of triggered them to being like oh my god this person's doing really well i don't want to mess up i don't want to like mess up their life i don't want to distract them i don't want to take them away from what they're doing and they just kind of ran with that idea and, and now it's causing like a little bit of a blockage here so let's do um temperance here at the bottom yes emperor so i feel like you're definitely coming into like balancing your divine feminine and divine masculine energy you're building a strong foundation for yourself so is your person your person has i'm not gonna lie this is this devil is just thoughts it's nothing like they're like out there like you know you know showing their ass or whatever it's like this person is just like overthinking something because they probably saw something or they had a dream about you and like you living your best life or something and it just intimidated them a little bit like that's the vibe i'm getting over here um but this temperance in this emperor this is like your person is definitely like has stepped into their masculine energies because you've stepped into your divine masculine energy you know you both balance each other out you both are ready to build a strong foundation with one another but again, with the Seven of Pentacles, there's like this pause here. So let's see what that's about. Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, and ooh, the Tower. I'm gonna pull up that and see what that's about. Ooh, the Lovers. Okay. Wow, that's like heavy. That's serious. Okay. So the Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, and the Tower clarified by the Lovers okay your person has made a decision your person has seen the light they have been inspired like i said they understand what's going on they know that they have feelings for you deep passionate feelings for you they are ready to tell you this they have made that decision to tell you this hence going towards the six of cups and the four of pentacles they're ready to build a new foundation with you and let go of any faulty foundations that your relationship was built on in the past they are ready to connect with you they made that decision to connect with you because they know they have deep feelings for you and they're very passionate about you and they want to have this union with you they want to tell a new story with you they want to create a new story with you that's more authentic that's more um transparent more vulnerable more just more committed there was there's like a lack of commitment your person Ooh, excuse me your person can't stand the lack of commitment that's been like in your relationship in the past they want a committed relationship with you they don't want to be single anymore that makes sense okay let's see the four of pentacles here reverse we have the knight of cups again your person has a lot of feelings for you the page of wands beautiful and then the king of cups okay so where was the queen of cups so many okay so we have the queen of cups here the king of cups here yeah your person definitely has wants to tell you how they feel like this is like straight up like feelings like your person is in their feelings right now about you they are so in love with you they think you're so 
fabulous. They think you're so amazing and gifted and passionate and creative. Like they can't see them spending their lives without you, like them living their life without you. They can't see themselves without you. They really, really want to be with you. I'm just hearing like they're so proud of you. They're so proud of what you've accomplished. They're so proud of what, of who you are and who you're becoming. But I don't, this is like so crazy to me it's like their mind is made up there's nothing that can change their mind about wanting to be with you wanting to contact you except and they and then this is not changing their mind it's just kind of delaying them you know what i mean it's just kind of like they're overthinking a little bit because of this queen of pentacles in reverse so let's see what that's about we have the eight of coins or eight of pentacles the three of wands and the eight of swords yeah they're telling themselves some type of self-talk but then we have the wheel of fortune at the bottom so i do feel like this is changing slight delay but this is changing okay so with the eight of pentacles the three of wands and the eight of swords we have two eights here this is about abundance this is definitely about practical matters this is about money finances career all that stuff and it's about the future of their career the future of their work and i definitely feel like this person is distracting themselves with work on purpose is what i'm picking up they are solely like obsessed with creating a certain amount of wealth in 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 order to like i feel like in order to match you they feel like you make more money than them or you're just more successful in your um in your work area than them and they need to reach your level but it's causing some type of like with this eight of swords it's causing some type of like fear like them entrapping themselves in like a negative self-talk like they're not because they're not seeing the truth of the matter and the truth of the matter is they're good like they have finances they are good with their money they have what it takes to meet you right now to call you right now to speak to you right now they don't need anything else and then they can work from there and they're and it's like this person thinks that once they meet you they're gonna stop focusing on career or they're gonna stop focusing on their purpose and that's not true like if anything they're gonna start focusing more on their purpose just because you're gonna always keep you know focused on your purpose maybe not always but you know it's just an ebb and flow like some days you'll both be focused on work and some days you both will just want to like not do anything it's just it's never gonna like stop completely does that make sense and i feel like your person thinks it's gonna stop completely and they're gonna be they're gonna go back to square one where they were like struggling and like not feeling stable like that's not the case and they keep telling themselves that story and it's causing a lot of like mental blockages but again with the ace of swords here i do feel like they're gonna they're gonna come to really really soon here they are going to come to because they can't keep these emotions hidden from you anymore they can't keep you know denying their feelings from for you anymore and they really 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 want to see you they really want to meet up with you they really want to contact you and talk to you but they're just kind of struggling a little bit with like their approach or not maybe their approach but also like i was saying just like them trying to balance work and work life and then the life that they want to create with you and and have with you if that makes sense so um there's gonna be an extended to this i'm gonna in the extended we're gonna look into more about your person and we're gonna pull some um messages from your person of what they want to say so before we do that or go into that i'm gonna pull some lover oracle cards here just for some last messages insights guidance to your situation but i do feel like things are looking really good for you both i do feel like things are coming to um a cycle of completion a graduation of some kind and you both are ready to move forward so if you've been feeling like you know you're ready and you feel like your person's ready you're not wrong you both are ready it's just that your person is still struggling with some and it's just like a little thing it, and it's it has to do with work and finances so we have here this card and it says time you're trying too hard give it time so i definitely feel like your person is trying too hard honestly they're trying too hard to to be like perfect i guess you could say they're trying too hard about something and it's causing a blockage here and they just need to give it time they don't need to be at a certain level to meet you to talk to you they can talk to you right now they are ready they have heard and seen all the signs there is to see and hear <laughs> um they're 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 ready you guys like your person's ready because you're ready you know and you're i don't think you're like 
obsessing over this too much i mean maybe a little bit in terms of like why isn't your person contacted you yet because you feel it like you feel like they're going to it's here it's right now but it's more like uh you're just kind of like doing your own thing and then like maybe only at night is when you really get like okay why isn't this person contacted me yet like what's going on but then you kind of just like you know i know you're i feel like you're trying not to obsess about it which is really good but you could just be picking up on your person's energy of because they're obsessing about it you know i don't think it's your obsession obsession it could be but for most of you i don't think it is okay we have this really pretty dove. It says new beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Absolutely. And then we have this one. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Absolutely. Like, you both know it's time for a new beginning. Like, it is just, you both have manifested this, like, new opportunity that to both of you seems like a miracle because I feel like in the past or like you know it just seemed like it was never gonna happen like maybe you both kind of gave up on this connection Ooh, this is pretty I like this we have sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred it is and I feel like your purse both of you honestly know that you have the sacred union know that you are able to manifest miracles together apart and you're never apart you're always together I mean like just physically you're apart but you both are were able to kind of transform your life in a really miraculous way and have this new beginning in your work in your life in your relationships with others and with, in your relationship together but it's I feel like with this time card it's just time to move forward together I don't know why I'm picking up really strong but it's time and it's and, and nothing has to be like exactly the way that you imagined it it's it's just a feeling of it is time no matter what how it goes or how it comes about it's just time to move forward and come together um so yeah so that is what i see for you guys so like i said there will be an extended to this if you're interested in that the link will be down below i'm gonna leave it here um thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care